what we're going to do today is some uh, post-production on 360 content in After Effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by looking at um, stabilizing some 360 footage in After Effects. Uh, we're then going to look at a nice quick process for patching out uh, a tripod and the tripod shadow, so that nadir patching that we've talked about in terms of the echo rectangular. And then we're going to look at some more advanced stuff. So we're going to use a content aware fill to um, remove a, uh, a bit of a, a silly director who's been walking around in the background that we might want to remove from our footage. And finally, um, if you get around to it today um, and you fancy giving it a go, I've also done a tutorial um, about doing a pull focus in 360 as well, which is one of my own kind of things. So all the other things are kind of standardized workflows, but the pull focus is kind of, that's a Jamesism, if you like. Uh, so we'll get onto that a bit later on. So um, these tutorials are always better if we just dive in rather than long preamble. So I'm just going to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my um, downloads or wherever you've got it saved. I've got my field test here, which is my equi rectangular with me standing in it. That's what we're going to use later on for the pull focus. And we're going to start off with the director key. And in this uh, footage, what we've got is here's our actor here and here's our director. And this director is being a bit of an idiot and he's uh, standing in the background of the footage. And then once he's called action, he's now wandering up and down being a plonker and we need to uh, try and mask him out. But before we do that, we first of all need to stabilize this footage because it's on a, uh, a tripod on a windy day. We've also got this nasty uh, tripod shadow and all this uh, gubbins at the bottom here on the nadir. And that's what we're going to patch up first. So let's take our director key clip and we're going to drag it into After Effects like so. Okay. And so what you're now going to do um, is you, you don't want to start a new composition first because that new composition might be in the wrong format because remember echo rectangulars are in a strange format. So drag it in first and then you pick up your footage and you drag it down onto this little icon here and that's going to create a whole new composition in the correct format and everything for us. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do then um, is we're going to want to stabilize our footage because it was on a flimsy tripod on a windy day so there's a little bit of wobbling about going on. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we've got this thing over here called the VR Comp Editor. Now if you can't see that, what you need to do is you need to go into Window, okay, and you need to come down to um, VR Comp Editor, which is right at the bottom, and turn that on. And what will happen is it will turn up with this little box that will just say Add 2D Edit, Add 3D Edit, just like it does over there, uh, in the middle of your screen. And you can pick it up and dock it wherever you like. So I've basically docked mine over here, but you can pick it up and dock it wherever you want, really, like so, if you wanted to, or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to bring mine down like that. Okay. So, what we're going to do, first of all, then, is making sure that our footage is highlighted, like so we're going to add a 3D edit. Okay, so click on that. And um, what it's going to do is basically saying, right, I'm going to make a 1920 uh, version, like a 16 by nine version of this footage. So this is much wider than that, but I'm going to make a viewer to see this footage, which is at 1920 resolution, so standard 1080. And that's what we're going to use to move around. So let's add a 3D edit, like so. There we go. And what you can do now is if I zoom in a little bit, you should be able to see that if you hold down the C key on your keyboard, you get the camera. Now you can drag your footage around and you can see it in a 360 format rather than seeing it in the echo rectangular. And as we can see, there's our tripod with our nasty great big uh, shadow on it that we're going to need to patch out in a minute. But first of all, let's stabilize this footage, shall we? Because it's a bit wobbly. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to uh, go into, um, sorry, I should have explained first of all, here's your um, 3D edit, so that's our, our um, in our VR view, or you can open output render, and that's our uh, echo rectangular view. If you've done this and you are not seeing anything, if you're just seeing like a checkerboard background or whatever, make sure that down here it says active camera. Sometimes, for whatever reason, I don't quite understand why, but sometimes when you do it, or when I've been doing it, um, it uh, want, it goes to front and then you, it doesn't look right, although it's obviously done it fine now. But just make sure that's on active camera and then it should uh, come back nicely. So you can either have it in that view or this view. Again, if that's on front, does that, yeah, like that. So that, that's what you might get. Okay, so then if you go on to active camera, then you should be able to see it. Okay, cool. Right, and what you find as well is once you've done this 3D edit, you've now got 
here's our original file, here's our original project. We've now got a whole new project here, which is uh, VR2 output, and in that you've got a whole bunch of things. So when you're clicking between these two here, you're basically clicking between these two different projects here, and you can actually see those down here. There's two tabs here. There's the um, VR output and the VR2 edit. Okay. Um, if you want to switch between them, though, don't actually switch between these down here. That can sometimes cause problem. Okay. So basically, what it's done is it's created two new projects. One of which is a 360 project, and one of which is an Echo Rectangular. And you can basically click between them by going over here. Okay. All right. Then. So now what we're going to do? Here's an R in our edit. We're going to go into properties. Okay, and in our properties, first of all, we're going to apply the 3D camera tracker. All right. Now um, there might be some issues with um, uh, some various bits of housekeeping that you might need to do before you do this. So one of those things is um, project settings, and make sure that your um, GPU acceleration for metal is selected like so. And then also, uh, when you go into properties and you apply the 360 camera tracker, it might say, I need to be able to access scripts, and it might send you into another box where you just literally click a checkbox. I can't show you that because I've already done it on mine. Um, but it, you just click a checkbox and you go, yep, yeah, allow it to run these scripts, and then it should be fine. Okay. So anyway, basically, you get to this point where you've now uh, applied the uh, 3D camera tracker, and you've got this analyzing in background step one and two. And in order to try and understand what's going on here, if we make sure that this uh, is highlighted down here, and if we go up to here to our effect controls, so this is our project tab, and we're going to go into our effect controls tab here, we can see in the background this is our uh, analysis, 23%, mine is at 25, 26. Now yours might go a bit slower than that, because first of all I'm running my very fast um, home iMac now, which has got 32 gig of RAM and it's the top line processor. So it's going to be pretty quick. Plus it also, you might find that when you, the first time you do this, when you click apply um, 3D camera tracker, it might sit there for half a minute with just 0%. Don't give up. Don't sort of click cancel and go, oh, it's not done it. Because it will do it. It might it might just take a little while to get going. I don't know why, but the first time I did this um, on my new computer, it sat there for, you know, almost a minute before it got going. But now, whenever I click it, it does it straight away. So I don't know, go figure it. Right, anyway, so you might want to, depending on the speed of your computer, you might now want to go and grab a drink uh, and wait for it to come back. Basically what it's doing is it's analysing every frame within this 360 uh, environment and it's trying to work out where the areas of like the areas that it can track are. So then once it's now gone to solving camera like so and then the banner goes away, now you're ready to go. Okay, so in our effect controls, what you're going to do is you're going to click create camera. And what we've got here is all of the areas that it's kind of gone, yep, yeah, I recognise that I've been able to track this little bit of cloud in all of those frames, and I know where it is, so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so now what we're going to do, don't worry about this this icon thing, that's for later on if you want to like add text and bits and bobs. What we're going to do now is we're just going to click Stabilise Footage, and there's our footage there. And if we now, I mean it wasn't too wobbly to begin with, but if we now uh, go to our output render and we now play it through, I zoom in one, and we uh, play it through, you should see that um, the footage, I won't sport with your patience and let it uh, render, but you should see that it's now all nice and stabilised. Okay, so what we're going to do now then is I'll stop this video because I know what it's like when you're watching a really long video. Uh, so I'll stop this recording and uh, I'll make a start on the next one, which is where we're going to get rid of this uh, Nadir patch. Okay, join me in that video in a minute.